With the entrance here, and this area has excellent ventilation, I think that'd be a good place for the kitchen. Right. How high are the ceilings back here? What does that say? 17, 20. We were trying to get... Oh, and get a statement from him in the middle of the worst snowstorm New England had seen in 40 years. <laughs> and he was on the next plane. Out of here. Yep. What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. Would you like another glass of wine? Yeah, sure. And what is your mom up to? Same as you. Same as who? Oh, nothing. Nothing. So, Mitch, you really think that you are going to buy this condemned building to open up a restaurant? Yes, I do. Who are you fooling? It's clear what's going on here. You jumped down my throat for having over a guest when it is obvious that your Thursday night escapades are overflowing into the weekend. All right, what's going on? What are Thursday nights? Go to your room, Dawson. No. I, uh, I, honey, now. I'm planning on opening a restaurant. Now, you know this. And how are you going to buy the building? I got a loan, Gail. Well, that's good, because I am getting tired of indulging in the dreams of a man who can hardly look me in the eye. Well, I am sorry that I have been such a burden to you. But while you've been in there playing with Gary or Bobby or whoever it is this evening, I've been indulging some of my own dreams. And those dreams, they involve Dawson's English teacher? They involve a damn restaurant. Not everything is about sex, Gail, at least not to me. I'm thinking that you two have completely lost your minds. Hey, when were you, were you planning on telling me? When you had the revolving door installed? What were you thinking? Did you hear that, Mitch? Our son wants to know why we're having an open marriage. You know what, sweetheart? So would I. Talk to your father. Look, it's complicated, all right? Your mother and I were attempting to heal some areas in our marriage. <laughs> you thought an open marriage was the answer. Okay, I admit it was a mistake. It doesn't take a degree in psychobabble to figure that one out, Dad. My thoughts exactly. No, exactly where do you get off being angry? You did this, Gail. I didn't. We wouldn't be in this position if you hadn't put us here. I give up, Mitch. I can't apologize anymore. I've got a colleague in the other room. Come on, stop. Stay. You have to stay here and you've got to fix this. No, I have to get back to work if I'm going to continue to support your father and his pipe dreams. You have never supported me. Ever. I have been supporting you for years. There's more than one way to support someone, Gail. You stand behind them, and you encourage them, and you believe in them. You don't turn your back on them and jump into somebody else's bed. Dad. I'm sorry, Todd. Mom. God, Dad. You can't just let it go, can you? Look, she made a mistake, all right? I know that. You know that. She knows that. She's been trying to get you to forgive her, and you just won't let her off the hook. <laughs> you gotta... You gotta get beyond your own ego and just forgive her. Make the decision. All right, commit. Forgive her, and then go in there and... fix this family. Dad, you gotta fix this. I don't know how to fix it. I don't know what to do. And I don't have any answers. I thought I did, but I don't. <sighs> My dad. Oh, your granddad had answers. <laughs> to every question. He taught me how to shave, you know. He taught me uh, how to drive a car, save money, build a house even. But you know, he never told me what to do if my wife cheated on me. I didn't know to ask. <laughs> I didn't know. Oh, God. 